For today's lesson, the supplies you will need are drawing paper and colored pencils. You could also use crayons, but our recommendation is colored pencils. Please take a moment to get seated in a comfortable position. Put your feet flat on the ground. Make sure you don't have distractions. And take a few deep breaths. Welcome to another art lesson. You should have your drawing paper and colored pencils nearby. We're going to start by um, folding our paper into four sections. So take your side and line it up. Fold your paper in half. Give it a nice crease. And then you're going to fold your paper in half again. So you have four sections. I'm going to turn it this way so it's hopefully you can see that pretty well. I'm going to draw lines for my four sections just because I want you to be able to see them well. But if you don't want to draw these lines, you don't have to. And they don't have to be perfect. So we're going to talk today about how our emotions can be like the weather. If you had to say what kind of weather you were feeling like today. What would you think of? And here are some ideas. I'm going to write some titles for our sections and you can follow along. I'm going to write this top corner section is happy or joyful. That could be one or two types of emotions you might be feeling. Another might be sad or something similar to sad is disappointed. So write that in another box. And then this box down here, I'm going to write worried and anxious. Being worried and anxious are a little bit similar emotions. And the final one, I'm going to write angry and frustrated. All right, I'm going to Pause that on here for just a little bit so you can see and have time to catch up on writing your titles. But while you're doing that, I just want you to think a little bit about which of these emotions are you feeling today? And if you're feeling, let's say, happy, what does that look like if it was the weather? What does happy weather look like or mean to you? Or if you're feeling kind of disappointed, what would that look like if it was the weather? How would you describe that feeling by using the weather? And you can think about whichever one of these emotions you are feeling today. And I want you to take a look at your colored pencils. They should be sitting off to the side here. And I'm gonna pick out colors that I, when I think about happy and joyful, I want you to pick out some colors that you feel are happy and joyful. These are my happy and joyful colors. I've got orange and pink and kind of a bright teal green and yellow. And then when you think about sad and disappointed, what colors might those be? For me, I'm choosing, I've got a gray, a blue, a little bit of a purple, dark green. And then if you're worried or anxious, what do those colors look like? And we might be, you might have to use the same color in two different sections, but I found these colors. If you can see, I've got kind of a goldy brown, a brown, another kind of, not as dark as that green, and I've got another blue. 
And then I'm picking out some colors for Angry Frustrated. And I put these down. You might not have all the same colors I do. But pick a couple colors, at least one for each section. You can use the same one in a different section, but for Angry Frustrated, I put black and red and a dark orange and a brown. I've got a dark purple. So those are my Angry Frustrated colors. Because we can equate colors to emotions and to the weather. So we're going to use these two color. Now I'm going to put my Angry Frustrated colors in one spot over here, my sad on the side here. And I'm going to start with my happy, joyful colors. We're going to start up here in this corner. And when you think about happy and joyful, I'm guessing you often think about this weather. Right? The sun makes us feel so good. I always, when I'm happy, I always think about the sun. Now, because we're using colored pencils today, you can add colors on top of each other. Look at that. If you can see that yellow on top of the orange, it makes that sun even glow warmer. Okay, now to finish off our sun, we're gonna draw a couple different suns today because this might match your feeling a little bit. But this sun, if you wanna draw um, a sun using only shapes, you can use the circle shape for the center of the sun and then you can use triangles to show the rays of the sun. So that's one way to draw a sun. And sometimes all you need is the big circle. You don't have to draw the rays of the sun showing. So that's a couple different ideas on how you can draw a really happy, joyful looking weather. The sun shining out there. And maybe I want to add some more color to these rays. I could add a little yellow. I love to learn that technique of layering colors from a color pencil artist. She did amazing things with colored pencils. So another way you could draw a, a really joyful, happy weather sunshine is to have another kind of circle sunshine and another way I've seen people draw the rays of the sun is to draw them out kind of like you can't always see the rays of the sun but you can feel them and sometimes on hot days you can kind of see a little bit of that warmth kind of coming off the ground sometimes when it's really hot on the pavement you can see waves of heat I'm adding that yellow in again. You could even add like a darker orange or even a little bit of red just to make that look like a really sunny, warm summer day. And we're going to do one more way of showing the sun. And I like to think about sometimes happy and joyful. I feel that way when I know it's a new day. It's kind of a fresh start. So I'm going to draw kind of a green horizon line to show kind of just some land. And I'm going to show the sunrise. So if you think about, you can see it kind of rising. You only see part of the sun kind of starting to peek up over the land over the horizon. But think about what the sky looks like when that happens. And boy, can it be beautiful. So the sky can really get colorful, can't it? So I'm gonna kinda show that sky. This is where I need my pink. Sometimes the sunrise just looks so beautiful. And it makes us feel like we're having a fresh start of the day. So that's when I think of joy and happiness. My 
I was feeling joy and happiness and had to draw that with the weather, this is, these are the pictures I would draw. You can also kind of show a little reflection of the sun. This isn't water, but you can kind of see it starting to peek over and shine down all over everywhere. You could pretend this was water and have some of the sun coming down. I guess I could have used blue and made that water if you want to, have it reflecting on the water. But that to me just looks happy and joyful. So if my emotions were the weather, it would be sunshine. So the next section is sad or disappointed. So if you think to yourself, I would love to ask you in person, but if you were gonna tell me what makes you, if you um, think about being sad or disappointed, what kind of weather would that be? And I sometimes think, you know, we talk about cloudy skies. So I'm gonna draw some clouds here, those kind of big puffy clouds that cover the sky. But they're kind of gray clouds. They kind of just look these big puffy, just coloring them, coloring them in with circles. So sometimes, being sad can look kind of like that gray sky feeling. I go, it might rain. And speaking of rain, sometimes, here, these are my sad, disappointed colors I'm gonna use. Sometimes it is raining and that makes us feel sad. So I can show rain by showing it kind of dripping down the page like this. Or maybe you want to like magnify in on those and make some actual raindrops. So I'm going to draw a few raindrops. Let's say we had a magnifying glass and we're looking really closely at these raindrops. So you can draw those coming down. So sometimes sadness can feel like raindrops. Or a cloudy sky or a rainy day. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you something about myself. I really love the rain, and sometimes the rain doesn't make me, I wouldn't say it's a sad or disappointed feeling. Sometimes rain, to me, makes me feel really cozy. All right, so another idea for sad, disappointed, sometimes those gray clouds or rain can also, the other feeling that you can show is, I was trying to think of how you can feel. Sometimes our weather looks really foggy out. And I think that's sometimes how I feel when I'm sad or disappointed. Not really sure what to make of it, but I feel kind of sad or down. So just to show, I'm gonna put a few trees here on my land. Just putting a few little, trying to make like evergreen trees. But if you wanna put a house or people or something like that, you can do that. So, what I wanted to show was that, to show the, the sky in the background, you know, oftentimes we color the sky blue, but you know, if we're feeling kind of down, maybe the weather feels foggy to us. So here's kind of my foggy sky. And it's making everything kind of muted. My trees aren't as bright. And that's kind of how I feel when I'm sad or disappointed. My emotions make me feel like everything's kind of harder than it should be. All right, so there's a few ways you could draw these emotions in the weather. Gray sky, foggy, maybe some rain. So let's move down to worried or anxious. I wonder what you would think of that. What kind of weather would be worried or anxious? So I found this really interesting. I think this is a gold color. Oops. And I was thinking that sometimes the sky looks really strange when there's about to be a storm and that sometimes makes us feel worried or anxious. So sometimes the sky, the clouds, 
just take on a really strange color. And so that, when I was thinking about worried or anxious, I was thinking about these clouds that kind of cover the sky and they're not really those big puffy clouds or like the cloud I did up there, but they're just kind of looking like worry clouds. And then the other thing I think of when it's worried, I think of the wind and how we, would we draw, dry, sorry, how would we draw the wind? And sometimes the wind can look like curly. Sometimes the wind is hard to draw. But a way we can show, these are my worry clouds. I might put a little brown in these clouds, maybe. You can decide how dark you want to make them. But then I'm going to make, a little bit with green, I'm going to make another land, because oftentimes, I know I'm trying to show the wind here, kind of curling around. But if I had something to show that it was blowing, that's kind of how I feel when I'm worried or anxious, like things can push me down easier. So my wind is coming this way. I need to make, I'm gonna make some trees. So like if my trees are kind of bending over, oh, the wind is pushing them. And these nice big evergreen trees, sometimes our big trees gets kind of scary, doesn't it, when our trees blow over or bend in the wind. So here's like the wind is blowing those trees. Maybe there's a little bit of color down here too. So when I feel worried or anxious, I feel like those trees, like things are going to push me over. So that's one way to think about the weather, like when it's windy or cloudy skies or it looks like it's going to get kind of stormy. That's what I feel like when I get worried or anxious. Now our next one, angry or frustrated, these are the ch colors I chose for angry and frustrated. And I was thinking if you look at the sky, if my emotions were the sky, when I'm angry or frustrated I get kind of that red feeling. I don't know about you. I definitely kind of have... We're going to add some stuff to our sky here. And maybe there's a little bit of that purple. Sometimes we feel these big emotions. Kind of like these big, like maybe a big storm. So that's my sky. When a storm is coming through, I think I need some really serious storm clouds. So I'm just going to kind of color them in. Maybe another cloud over here. I'm just making them any shape. They kind of just Maybe you'll have some wind coming in. But when I think about a big storm, and you can tell I'm left-handed, so I'm kind of turning my paper this way, but storms, sometimes the rain goes sideways, doesn't it? And the wind is blowing, and the rain, oops, I probably need some clouds over here to show that rain is coming from. But yeah, these storm clouds are sending the rain sideways and my emotions are big and sad and frustrated and angry. So what else could we think of? I bet I know what you might be thinking of. Let's put, oh yes, a big lightning bolt in here. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna make that lightning bolt look like it's got some electricity there. And I need my yellow. So even though my yellow is my joyful color, yep, sometimes that electricity. All right, there's my lightning bolt. Okay. 
So these are a variety of ideas. This isn't the only thing, um, ideas you could use for if your emotions were the weather. But what I want you to think about is, I have another piece of paper. And what I want you to think about is if you are going to track your emotions for the next week, what would you show each day? So maybe you can create a paper that has, I'm going to take another piece of paper and fold it in half, fold it in half again, and maybe fold it in half one more time so you can make these boxes. You can kind of decide how many you want. But if I tracked my emotions for a while, I could maybe say this is Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday. And you, can, you get the idea. You could even do it Monday morning, and then you could do Monday afternoon. But I want you to take, um, to challenge yourself to track your emotions for at least three or four days this week. You could do it two times in one day and see how you feel in the morning versus the afternoon. But take a, just take an idea. The goal is to really feel those emotions because sometimes our emotions feel comfortable. They feel really comfortable like a happy, joyful day but sometimes they feel uncomfortable, like being angry or frustrated or worried. And at the beginning of the school year, we are sure that you're probably feeling some of these um, uncomfortable emotions. Um, maybe some disappointment is an uncomfortable emotion too. So helping you kind of draw that on paper might help you recognize when you're feeling different things. And you also might notice what time of the day do you feel these emotions? So track track this for uh, at least three or four days this week. You may keep a, a weather and emotion journal for um, a whole month or maybe the year. But we're hoping this is helpful so that you can keep track of how you're feeling and what that might look like if it was one of these things. And then maybe you can think about ways that help you feel more comfortable with those emotions. Does it help you to talk about them? Maybe it helps you to just draw them down and then it helps you feel better. Maybe just drawing this angry picture helps you let go of that frustration. So think about um, ways that you can help deal with these emotions as you're drawing. It was great to be with you today. Thanks for joining me. And hopefully you'll join us for another lesson soon. Take care. This lesson was brought to you by support from the Issaquah Schools Foundation and the Issaquah School District.